It is a difficult time for this Kenyan farmer who lost more than half her crops earlier this year. The reason, heavy rain. The climate this year has been cold and raining, so the crops didn't do well. Eunice Wambonugu has been a farmer for 30 years, growing crops from maize to avocados and macadamia nuts. These harvests on her farm, which is less than one acre, are what she relies on to make a living. So the house. Many types of avocado mm. varieties. Mm. Nugu's farm is one of many that's been hit hard by extreme weather conditions over the past two years. But one organization is hoping to change that. The work that One Acre Fund does in Kenya has been helping farmers by improving their yields, also their livelihoods, and their access to quality inputs. Located in the heart of Nairobi, One Acre Fund is giving farmers the opportunity to borrow farming materials from equipment to seeds. While this helps them grow their crops efficiently and sell them for a higher profit, Komi McCourt says their mandate spans beyond just the local community. One Acre Fund aims to provide over a billion dollars worth of impact by 2030 to smallholder farmers all across Africa. An ambitious target that will be discussed at this year's COP27, which will take place at the Egyptian beach resort of Sharm el Sheikh. While One Acre Fund aims to achieve a billion dollar impact by 2030 to help smallhold farmers in Africa, at COP27, world leaders will build on a wider pledge that was promised at last year's COP26. $100 billion that were dedicated to developing countries like those in Africa, but were never met. $100 billion doesn't solve the problem, but it shows commitment from developed countries and it builds trust and gives assurance to developing countries that there is seriousness in providing them with the necessary financial resources to make their fair contributions to the global effort to combat climate change. While this global effort will take many to participate, it will be One Acre Fund's first time to take part, giving a voice to the voiceless. I am very hopeful that we will see a lot more implementation um, following the COP27 this year because for the first time the smallholder farmer has been recognized. Recognizing the ones hit hardest by climate change and creating funds to help smallhold farmers like Nugu. Sam Abdulaziz, CNN.